Hey everyone, Lieutenant Dan here. Today I'm playing Super Liminal because I feel like absolutely breaking my brain. We're gonna see if we can't beat this game. Just for fun, I've even turned on the speed running timer so we can see just how long it takes me. New game, let's go. Are you filled with feelings of self-doubt? Not really. Do you find yourself prone to minimizing massive dilemmas? Sometimes. Or for allowing the smallest problems to get blown completely out of proportion? Eh, maybe. At the Pierce Institute, our patent-pending Somnoscope technology provides safe and effective dream therapy while you rest in the comfort of our flagship clinic. Located right next to the secondary overflow parking lot at the University Medical Center. Somnoscope. We'll make your dreams come true. Make my dreams come true. Let's do it. All right. We are in game. We just got to sign that. And it's go time. Look at that. The timer has started. Now, I have played this game before a little bit when I first got it, but it has been a while. And if you are not familiar with this game, prepare to have your mind blown as I take this tiny little chess piece and turn it into a big old massive chess piece. This game is all about changing reality by changing your perspective because it's all in a dream world. Hello. So we get to do stuff like, oh, oh, now you're a tiny little piece and I can just walk right past you. Easy peasy. Terms of service accepted. Congratulations on falling asleep. Thank you. Welcome to Somnasculpt. Your progress may be monitored by qualified specialists. This orientation will adapt you to eyelids, our interactive, lucid induction dream state in which you retain full consciousness and control. There we go. So this game is sort of a puzzle platformer where obviously you redefine reality as you go through the game. This game kind of reminds me of Portal in that you're like trying to creative problem solve your way through different levels, but the problem solving is less like using portals and more like, how do I take this small thing and then like, turn it into a huge thing. Oh yeah. Come on, let's make this real big. And then I can be like, ha, ah, ah, ha, perfect. Oh, look at that, see? Confirmed. See? You can move freely, interact with surrounding objects, and listen to messages from your patient nice. care team. Please note oh. that I am the standard that orientation protocol, and that my voice has been explicitly chosen to remind you that I am not a part of your patient care team. I do not care. I do not care. All right, so let's grab this and then be like, boop, perfect, easy peasy. Now this is just the orientation level, so it's pretty easy puzzles. Hold right to rotate. Yeah, oh, the cheese. I remember the cheese, because look, the cheese has a ramped side. So if we make this guy bigger, we can just walk up the cheese. Ha! Nice. During eyelids, you will lose the ability to awaken suddenly due to realizing that this is a dream. Evidence. I have already informed you that this is a dream. You did not wake up. <laughs> no, Please I did not. complete the remaining orientation activities. What's this? Why is this all blocked off and weird? Dream soda, red soda, green Warning. soda, diet soda, from random the soda, baking pathway. soda, mini soda, water. At the water. Pierce Institute, patient safety is a keynote in our corporate priority tetrahedron. A variable degree of force can and will be authorized to ensure patient safety. Please return to the orientation pathway. Okay, okay, fine. I wasn't supposed to go through that door, apparently. Oh, look at that giant can of soda. Oh, it's right here. Can I just be like, teeny, teeny tiny. Oh, wait, wait. So you gotta move away so it's small, and then you can... There you go. Oh, is this supposed to be broken? Now this is a dream, so... Ah, that didn't work. Aha! All environments perceived during eyelids should reflect a typical mental state. If you believe your mental state was compromised by Somnasculpt, please provide a comprehensive, rational explanation in your post-procedural survey. Completed surveys ah. may be eligible for a gift card. Okay, I can't take this through. So somehow I'm supposed to get it over there. Oh, look at this, look at this. Oh my gosh, I made a huge... <laughs> Perspective is reality, friends. What the heck is that? Oh, that's a chess piece. That's a knight. 
apples? Wait a second. Oh, haha. Look, we can just keep going through this loop forever. All right, keep following the sign. We are on the clock here, friends. Oh! All right, that one opened that door. And that one opened this door. But what do I put in... Aha. Oh! Wow. Okay, so if I put that there... Nope, fell over. If I put that there... That door is still closed. Oh, oh, wait. How big can I make this? Fill the whole room big? Hey, there we go. See, you gotta like retrain your Please brain for this. Please stand by for polite recognition on your completion of the Somna Sculpt orientation. You did it. Huh. To maximize the time allotted for your therapeutic journey, please do not delay in proceeding through the final doorway as indicated. I can't proceed through the final doorway. It is blocked off. Cheese! I can put cheese on it, but that doesn't solve this problem. Okay, maybe I'll just go around. Because with the cheese, I could be like... Nope, 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 scoot it. Yeah! Nope, that didn't work. No, I need it bigger. Oh! Okay. Or that. That works too. This says exit. Nope, nothing over here. Okay, so I do remember a big part of this game is like, yeah, you break out of the planned dream state or whatever, and you go through all kinds of weird back alleys of your, I guess, subconscious. But I'm really curious, because I don't know if that's real. Nice. Or if that's like part of the plan, you know what I'm saying? I'm curious about that. Oh! Ah! Hey! We did something. The loading bar. <laughs> ah. 3 a.m. Let's go, let's go, let's go. This way. <laughs> that's pathetic. Somebody pulled the fire alarm already? Aha! More dream soda. How about green this time? Let's get our money's worth. Biggest soda you ever saw. <laughs> oh! Nice. Alright. Keep going, keep going. Some doors are best left closed. Alright. Nice hotel hallway kind of thing. Oh! Okay. Just take the door right out of the frame. Ah! Oh! Wait, what? <laughs> oh, it's an actual optical illusion in a video game about optical illusions. That's funny. Oh, look! Here's another one! <laughs> That's awesome! I love that. That's funny that they put a real optical illusion, like not a faked one. What am I supposed to do here? Uh -huh. Wait, you think I can get over that? Whoa! Whoa! <gasps> oh dear. Hold still, hold still! Yeah! I have escaped! What's this? Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to talk to you about being special. Oh, me? So special, in fact, that we have no idea where you are. <laughs> what? But not to worry, we're working on it. See, that's the part that's like, oh, you escaped from the dream sequence, but did you really? What's this? Oh, look! See that? See that? Perspective made that real. Can use that to pop up here. Yeah! I'm a professional athlete. There's another one. What is that? That looks like a vase. Oh, and here's a vase. No, that's not a vase, that's painted. <gasps> oh, I get it, I get it, I get it, look. I gotta make that real. Oh, no way. And then make that, wait, I messed it up. Make that real, dude. Hold on. Oh, snap. Is that enough, you think? Yeah, oh yeah. I got hops. Ooh. That's a door. But the perspective is way off. I 
think I have to get up there. Can I go back and get my piece of checkerboard wood? Make that a staircase. What? Make that a staircase. There we go. Ah, yes. Perfect. Okay. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'm just popping in to give you a quick update on where you are. We still don't know, <laughs> but please keep moving forward, and hopefully you prefer frequent updates to being reminded that you are completely lost. <laughs> oh. Nope, the perspective on that is wrong. I think I have to get up there. How do I do that, though? Oh, hold on. Aha, got it. And give me a boost. Nice. And then there it is. Almost. There it is. Uh, I just ripped a hole in the wall. So I guess we're going that way. Oh, wow. Is this outside? Or is this not really outside? I guess I'm still in a dream, aren't I? Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and we still can't find you. But you should now have access to a series of elevators that should trigger your subconscious to gradually wake you up. Nice. You should also find a variety of emergency exit signs that should lead you to them. Will all of this work? Absolutely. This looks like it was supposed to be an elevator, but there is no elevator there. Wait, oh, no way, <laughs> I can harness the power of the moon. <laughs> Wait, what's on top of the moon? Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In the event that this elevator does not wake you up, please don't interact with anything that strikes you as psychologically significant, as we will no longer have any way of controlling it. Wait. For example, if you see your parents, please punch them in the face as hard as you can and immediately run away. <laughs> okay, if I see my parents, I'll do that. Look at this. Okay, this kind of is portals, isn't it? No, we're just, we're trying to make it out of here. Elevator. Hey, we made it. Seize the day. Oh, I don't have a reflection. I guess I am dreaming, aren't I? All right, let's go, let's go. Oh no, the loading bar is going backwards. What? Oh. Alright, now it's 4 a.m. And we're back here. Uh, you know, this time I'm feeling a random soda. What is it? It just says random soda. Okay. Cool. Let's go. This is an automated message for all patients who attempted to use an alternate pathway to access the next phase of Somnasculpt therapy, but who have become trapped in a dream state paradox instead. Your decisions imply a failure of orientation, which reflects negatively on the standard orientation protocol. You will rectify this failure immediately. I don't know how. Perception is reality. Oh, a block of dice. Or is that a die? Is die singular or plural? I think it's singular. Ooh. -hoo. Oh, what? Cut in half? Hey! Alright, that worked out. <gasps> Am I supposed to go down here? Any monsters down here? Oh dear. It is very dark, isn't it? Accidentally made that huge. Professional <laughs> tip, the average adult can only withstand three to five dreams per night. Once this threshold is eclipsed by entering more dreams, your mind will suffer an explosive mental overload, reorienting oh! you for the emergency exit protocol. Please subject yourself to explosive mental overload. Explosive mental overload? What the heck is wrong with these things? They're all janky shaped. Doesn't matter, I got through. Ah. Wait, what? Whoa. Ah. 
Please note that a reluctance to volunteer for the risks associated with explosive mental overload implies a misunderstanding of all other solutions, all of which are far more traumatic and likelier to result in catastrophe. I am not capable of suboptimal suggestions. Please exit this dream as soon as possible. Yeah. Oh. What? Just got all explodey on me. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Yeah. I'll take you. Oh. Alright. Portals it is. Ah! What? Is this where it just was? Hey, we made it to the elevator. Alright, not bad, not bad. Feeling lucky? Nope. Feeling like I don't have a reflection. Maybe I'm a vampire. Well, my brain feels sufficiently broken. How about you? We're gonna pause it here and continue this later. So stay tuned for that. I hope you come back and see where this game goes. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you stick around and check out the other fun stuff happening here at Lieutenant Dan Productions. You guys have a fantastic day.